what is going on everyone welcome back to another video here today on the channel and today we will be talking about tiktok and dating and i've said this a few times in the past basically these women are trying very hard to make tiktok a dating app they want to date on tiktok they want to find their man in their dms they want to find him on live and they are doing this while getting paid on the tiktok platform so we are going to be getting into all of that today. I would normally tell you to grab a snack or whatever, but let's not do that today. Don't get any snacks. Trust me, you're going to want your stomach to be completely empty during some of these clips that I'm going to show you. <laughs> Sit tight, but go ahead and get locked in. And uh, hey, my name is Ratboy. Let's get into it. Good morning. <laughs> wow, there she is. How's my beautiful girl? <laughs> Yeah, that's George! Not oh, hi, Laura. Where'd you come from? I'm confident someone's already thought of this, but I just want to put it out there in case they haven't. How f cool would it be if TikTok did like their own dating app? Or like even in the app, its own like dating section? Like, hear me out. How cool would it be? If you can make like a one to two minute video, like introducing yourself, explaining your interests, whatever. And then like um, once a day, what it would do is show you like three matches of other people who are like opted into the dating um, TikTok. And it would be like, hey, we think you and this person would be compatible because you guys have similar algorithms. You guys both like videos that have the hashtag like football or like the hashtag skiing or whatever. And because the algorithm's so advanced, it'd be like, hey, based off what we can tell by what you guys like, you guys have similar interests. Wouldn't that be so f cool? Ooh, yeah. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. This is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. This bitch is ridiculous. First, you have to understand how much of a brain dead idiot you have to be to think that you're going to find a, a quality person on a dating app but then to turn a social media app, uh, an app where you're watching videos into a date dating app. But then on top of all of this, which is, I think this is the most insane part is you're doing it as a woman when women have the most choices of dating period. Any woman will have their pick of any dudes on any dating app or any social media app. So why would you, why just literally go on any other app that does dating and you'll find someone. Do you think the outcome is going to be different if you're doing the same shit that you're doing on TikTok? If you're doing the exact same shit on TikTok that you've done on Tinder, that you've done on Bumble, that you've done on Facebook, do you think the outcome is going to be any different? This is complete delusion right here, where they actually think that something will change because the platform is different, that the platform doesn't matter. The only thing that matters are the people. And trust me, the same guys that you're going to be matching on any other app are going to be the same dudes that are going to be trying to date you on TikTok. So what are you doing here? And this isn't it. This next one, I don't know what to say about this next clip, but I'm, I'm just going to let it play because at this point, I just, I, I am at a loss for words with what I've been seeing on TikTok recently, but check this out. This is single. Is there a dating section of TikTok? Is that desperate? I'm lonely. I just want to talk. I just want to have adult conversation. That's it, that's all. I ain't even, I don't need no random man from Atlanta shit. I don't even know who the f that I marry type bull shit. I don't need none of that. I just be wanting adult conversation. I'm a date not type of girl. I'm not a going out and meeting people type of girl either though. Homebody. But look though, I make my own money. I pay my own bills. Everything I do, I do by myself. But I do got two kids and a dog and they all talk back. The dog talk back too. I'm real shy. I'm really, really, really smart. I'm a full-time college student, okay? Look like this all the time. All you gotta do is scroll on my page. You'll see what it what it, what it is for real, okay? I ain't got no, ain't no shame about it. I am who I am. We got two baby daddies. One of them is my brother, but that's because one of my kids is actually biologically my niece and I take care of her. I've been taking care of her since she was a baby. She just turned 12. In reality, I only have one baby daddy. One child, one baby daddy. Got two kids though. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna swerve everybody that try to talk to me. <laughs> it's because 
that's why I'm over here lonely now. That's why I'm over here lonely now because I swerve everybody, okay? I just do. I think it's because I'm traumatized. I've been through so many traumatic, deep relationships that I don't even have the energy to try to talk to anybody anymore. Because when I love, I love hard. I love to love. I love for infinity. It's a matter that always backfires on me. So never mind. Never mind. I, I never mind. Never mind. <laughs> no. No, man. No, man. I believe you get your ass kicked saying something like that. My man. opinion about this video is why I even put this out there. Why? I have so many questions of why. So let's go through the red flags. Multiple kids. One of them isn't even hers. It's her brother's kid that she's raising, which is like, is she just taking in kids now? Is that what people do? They just take in kids? It's like you're finding a cat coming scratches on your door and you, you let the cat in and then the cat's just living with you now? Is, is this what we're doing with kids? So that's like multiple red flags around that situation. And then the video itself is just a huge, like, no, 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 no. Well, fellas, look, hey, I know you're all tripping over each other, trying to get in line to date this, uh, whatever this is, but look, you can't, okay? Try to reframe. Want to kind of refresh in the, in the last video of, of what we were looking at here, because you have this person here, she's, these are high caliber women. You can't just find these women anywhere. These are high quality. These are uh high, uh, they, they gotta be high as hell to make videos like this. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay. <laughs> Let's check this out. This was very interesting that I had stumbled across. So they are doing these pitches on lives now because you get paid for the live. So women are getting on live. They're doing smasher pass. They're doing dating. So let's take a look at one of the smash, <laughs> one of the smasher passes. Guys, if we can play the swan goal, she takes eight shots. And so there you go. You got them drinking on stream, doing whatever they're doing, wanting to be passed or smashed or something i don't know what's going on i wouldn't come within 10 miles of either one of these whatever individuals they are uh no thank you i'll pass <laughs> i will 100 percent pass but let's look at one of the bidding auctions that are that are popping up so you have the bidding auctions that are popping up on tiktok where women just put what they want on the screen and then they uh, they entertain random strange men check it out thank you for your First gift, Tony Tatum. You like the clickbait? Hi. I offer boredom. Keep talking. I want to read more comments. Keep talking. So this is a live right here. People are donating. Dudes are busting up immense in the live chat. They're just laying it all out there. Some of them are funny. I'm gonna be honest with you. Some of these guys are are pretty funny. But this is this is what's happening here. Okay. In case you're uh, disillusioned by any of this they are on live with their looking for a husband minimum 40k i mean whatever no more than four kids on a 2010 car or newer <laughs> so uh, joke or not can we not do this and look times are tough i get it you're probably wearing the hat to cover the forehead not nobody's perfect but um this is sad this is just very sad that you're on social media doing stuff like this whether it's a stunt whether you're doing it for attention whatever the reason it's embarrassing and i'm getting secondhand embarrassment 
because you're humiliating yourself pretty much for you know i don't know how much these roses cost. i've never donated on tiktok so i'm really not sure what all this means but she's getting paid she's getting money tiktok takes a cut but she's getting paid right now for this type of stuff but this is the this is the desperation women are desperate they are resorting to every avenue of communication every avenue of social media to try to find a man try to find that person or whatever when literally all they have to do is just open up their dms and there's a whole list of them right there but the same dudes that have been in the dms they're still there they're, they're still waiting you know and but tiktok really you've seen the type of women that want to date on tiktok look i'm just letting you know can we not do anything like this if th if this is the offerings on online dating then i am going to make sure that i will never ever never it's never gonna happen it ain't gonna happen i just don't know what to say this is uh take the hat off i want to say come on take the hat off please see this is what i'm saying these females are lying is it a joke yet has it become a joke yet every time i open up this app stuff like this happen it's not like look at this welcome to tiktok dating this is it <laughs> smash or pass right welcome to tiktok dating i'm not going to sit around and tell any men not to do this a man would never do this not a man with any self-respect a, a man with self-respect would never do this but this is acceptable like why didn't her friend tell her not to do this this is horrible this is embarrassing i'm embarrassed for you but that is the end of today's video gentlemen thank you for tuning in subscribe comment if you have something to say and i'll catch you guys later rat boy out